In the heart of Europe, nestled between the Alpine and Dimeric worlds, and squeezed into a narrow basin at the confluence of the Idrica River and the Nikova stream, lies the town of Idria. Slovenia's oldest mining town grew above a unique mercury ore deposit, the second largest of its kind in the world. Legend has it that mercury, the only existing liquid metal, was discovered by a tub maker in the far off year of 1490, while he was soaking his wooden vessels in a stream. Later on, the Church of the Holy Trinity was built on this spot. The story of the origin of the mercury ore deposit is exposed in the geological collection, which comprises samples of rock, cinnabar ores and minerals, many of which are unique and exceptional on an international scale. In five centuries, Idria miners dug out more than 700 kilometers of shafts up to a depth of 382 meters and excavated 3 million tons of ore, from which 107,000 tons of mercury was produced and sold all over the world. In that period, a smelting plant was built for the purpose of burning ore and boasted the most advanced technologies, Spanish, Cermak Spirek and rotary furnaces. Today, the Idria mine is closed. Numerous preserved buildings and devices that enabled its undisturbed operation testify to the mine's former power and greatness. In the upper reaches of the Idrica River and the Belca and Ojak streams are the mighty Klauze, stone water barriers from the late 18th and early 19th centuries which were used for the floating of timber. Due to their monumental size, experts have named them the Slovene Pyramids. The underground world of miners can be experienced by a visit to Anthony's main road. This is the oldest part of the mine, where the various mining methods used over the centuries are displayed to visitors. Two special features of this underground world are the Chapel of the Holy Trinity from the 18th century and the mischievous pit elf known as Pregmandels. Connoisseurs of technical heritage are always fascinated by the Kamscht a pump built in 1790 that is driven by a giant wooden wheel with a diameter of 13.6 meters, which was used to pump water from the mine for as long as 160 years. Towers with transport machines are one of the most recognizable relics of the mine. Erected directly above the shaft, they were used by workers to enter the pit and to transport ore from the pit. In the administrative building near Francis's shaft, restored mine machines and devices are on display.
One of the most unique specimens is clay pump from 1893, the largest preserved steam machine in Europe. The largest among the mine buildings is Geverkenek Castle, the former seat of the mine administration, today the seat of the Idria Municipal Museum, which invites visitors to an exhibition on the five-century-old history of the mercury mine and the town. In 1997, the museum was awarded the title of Best European Museum of Industrial and Technical Heritage. In the past, bobbing lace-making represented an additional source of income for miners' families. Today, the precious skill of making idria lace is taught by teachers at the more than 130-year-old lace-making school. And fostered by lace-makers in numerous societies. Lace articles of the highest quality are granted a certificate of geographic origin. Idria lace items may be examined at permanent and occasional exhibitions or purchased in specialized galleries and studios. The annual Idria Lace Festival is the main tourist event in the town devoted to the promotion of Idria lace. An indispensable companion in the lives of Idria's inhabitants in the past and present is the Idria's Miner's Brass Wind Band, which carries on the tradition of Miner's Band of the 17th century and is the oldest band of its kind in Europe. Squeezed below the castle are narrow yet monumental houses which shape the streets in squares. Among the most impressive buildings embracing Acacia Square is the Mind Wheat Store and the Mind Theatre from the late 18th century. The renewed image of the main municipal square is the work of Boris Podreka in 2006. Along the length of the square are the historical facades of citizens' houses, the town hall and the former popular school. Slightly removed from the square is the majestic building of the municipal non-classical secondary school built in 1901, which is today the house of learning of Idria secondary school students. The lifestyle of miners' families can be felt in the Idria miners' house, which has been transformed into a museum. Once a year, this house is filled with the pleasant fragrance of Idria Žlikrofi, a local culinary dish which bears the national and European label of a guaranteed traditional specialty. You will also be served a rich variety of local dishes in the surroundings, from Spodnia Idria to Ledine, Vojsko and Czerny Vrch. Friendly and hospitable inhabitants will welcome you with open arms. Nature in these parts has remained unspoilt and is alluring for afternoon excursions and adventures by travelers, cyclists and horse lovers. A captivating world opens up at the edge of the town as we enter the Upper Idria Landscape Park. Unique flora diversified fauna, 
monuments of technical heritage, a natural jewel, Wild Lake. And above all, the clean Idrica River with its rapids and pools on one side and its gently flowing waters on the other, a true haven for fishermen and bathers. Idria is a town with the longest mining tradition in Slovenia, a town with a richly preserved heritage and modernized industry, an interesting and attractive tourist destination with a diversified offer of attractions and services provided by hardworking and highly creative locals. A town that has been marked by mercury. A town which, together with Almaden in Spain, has been entered in UNESCO's list of World Heritage for its exceptional Mercury heritage. <laughs>